Hey guys, in this video we are going to look at using pandas can I target a specific column and extract the data from a specific column. For example, in this excel file I have multiple sheets. I want to read from sheet 3 that is the first condition and I would only like to read this column okay only this specific column and I would like to print these values. So how that can be done using python we are going to see. So let's get started. The very first thing is we are going to import the required library which is pandas here in this example and then mention the excel file path. Now your excel file where exactly it is available I am going to mention it within a variable. So for that let's go to the specific location. I am going to right click on this one hitting the shift key. I am going to copy this path and then paste it here and to avoid this escape character I am going to write a keyword called R. So here mention the excel file path is done. After that I need to read the specific sheet from the excel file. Okay, The next step read the specific sheet from the excel file. Now for that I will use a variable called A equals to there is a method that you need to remember called read excel okay and that would appear only from uh, pandas okay so for that let's do one thing here i'm going to put an alias called pd as pd and then a equals to pd dot so this method is part of that so here i'm going to read the excel so simply type read you will get this method called read excel and then from where the file path you need to mention so here i'm mentioning the file path variable which contains the path of the excel then your excel might contain multiple sheets so put a comma and here you have to mention the sheet name within code so the name of the sheet is here sheet 3 so now the a variable is the variable which is going to hold the entire sheet 3 data okay so a is the variable now it is always good practice to always check the type of particular variable that you have created for example here i am going to say type a Let's run this to see the value of type A. Now if you look at it is class pandas.code.frame.dataframe. So that is a data frame object. Okay. So you got it. So A is a data frame object. Now I need to loop through this entire data frame. Okay. So how do I loop through this data? Let's come here and I'm going to loop through this A variable. So this is important part. For this simply write 4 and then take some variable here I am taking the variable r which represents a row so you can take any variable name and then I am going to say in a is a data frame variable so a dot there is an important method that you are going to get introduced to that is called iter row okay iter rows so this is the very important uh, method of uh, pandas so here in the for the data frame variable a I am saying iterate through how many rows it has got. So the sheet 3 the your a variable now here in this example your a variable is going to contain the entire data. So I am going to put a colon mark here so that it can iterate through the entire data. So let's do one thing let's print this r. Let's see what is contained in the variable r. So by printing this what is happening the variable r is actually iterating through the data frame variable or through the entire data but again it has got multiple segments of data starting from um, you know the name id everything is there okay everything is there but again it is it, it is having too much of data which i don't need i want to target specific column so can i write like this can i simply say r and within the square bracket i am going to mention um, the id column Okay, something like this I am trying to write. Now if I run this what is going to happen? So you can see I got an error. So what is the error? Let us have a look. It is saying tuple indices must be integer or slices. That means it is talking about you have not mentioned any kind of index to be look, to look at. So for this all you have to do simply say index comma and now you run this. So now you can see all the values got printed from this sheet. Okay, it is exactly the same all the id columns has been printed over here all right so you understood 
so what are the important points here index you know how do you write the entire loop for index r right in iter rows this is the method and then we have printed the specific column watch whichever you need all right so this is how you please do share this content with others and give it a like to this video let's meet in our next content